right, hello, welcome to Body of Wisdom Yoga. I'm Mia Cutler. I'm here with my friends again, Lori and Ellie. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> Today I filmed, or we filmed a class. There's some side plank variations. So a little bit of strength work. We did some push-ups, but you can opt out. Uh, some side angle pose, warrior two, forward folds. Anything else? Chair pose. Oh, chair pose. Yeah, there was a lot of chair pose <laughs> with twisting. There's some cool twisting in there too. All right, thank you very much for coming today and we hope you love the class. <laughs> We're going to start out in child's pose today. So typically your knees are about as wide as your hips, maybe a little bit wider. Big toes touch behind your forehead could rest on a block or blanket or the floor. Let your elbows bend just to start so we soften into this shape. And you might feel your body settling down. If you feel that happening, perhaps an increased awareness that you're breathing. And in the practice of yoga, if possible, we breathe in and out of our nose. And gently lift your chest, walk your arms over to the right. Just a nice stretch through the left side, doesn't have to be too much. You may notice already that you're trying too hard. So think of softening into the shoulder, softening into the body. Lift your chest over to the left. Deeply breathing in and out of your nose. And back through center. Come on up to table pose and we'll start to move around here. Whatever feels good in your body. Cat cow might feel good. You could circle, you could barrel roll your ribs. And you may decide to link your movement to your breath. And you may decide that closing your eyes helps to narrow your focus inward. Let's tuck the toes and we'll start to shift forward and back, forward and back. As you do this, feel your hands. Feel the heel of the hands, the knuckles, your finger pads. As you come forward, there's a pulling action with your arms, and as you shift back, a pushing action. Great. And we're just going to pop up into downward dog right away. A couple of breaths here. Might feel good to walk in place. And you can also do downward dog on your knees or your forearms. Let's shift forward to plank pose, top of a push up. And back to downward dog. So do this on your own, coming forward as you breathe in and shifting back as you exhale. And maybe as you come back to downward dog, a soft bend to the knees, almost like it feels sort of spongy. It's like a soft landing and then spring slowly forward to plank. And back to downward dog. Let's do that two more times. Shifting forward to plank, take a breath in. Option to lower your knees as you come all the way to your belly. We'll stretch the right arm over to the right rolling over to the right side. So your left leg could hang in the air. Your left knee might be bent with the foot on the ground. And ease over to the left side. 
Now, if you have a shoulder injury, you may not be doing this, so you'll decide what's right for your body. Let's come on back to center and we'll move in and out of Cobra, just on your own, coming up and down. If Cobra feels like it's too much, maybe Sphinx Pose for you, which is a really nice back bend. And let's push back hips to heels, kind of like child's pose, but your knees are a bit closer. Shift forward through table and tuck your toes for downward facing dog. Pivot your heels to the right, put a little bend in your right knee. Pivot your heels to the left, little bend in the left knee. Back through center, over to the right, deep bend to both knees. Through center, over to the left, bend your knees. Nicely done. Back through center, downward dog, inhale to plank. Either pause for a breath or add a push-up. Try not to collapse your head. And then back to downward dog. We'll do that two more times, shifting forward. You can always lower your knees and maybe lower an inch and then push up. Yes, nicely done. And once more, shift forward, pause for a breath or add a push up. And back to downward dog. Please walk your hands to your feet. Take your feet wide, bend your knees, find opposite elbows and let your head hang down. You may wish to sway a little bit left and right. You could roll your shoulders or shake your head. What are we doing here? We're trying to release tension in your back. And release your hands for a twist. Bend your right knee and lift your left arm. Lean back as you stretch up. We'll roll your left wrist. Big circles or not big circles, little circles, yeah. Good, <laughs> left hand down, bend the left knee, right arm up. Lean back as you stretch up and roll your right wrist. Right hand down, please bring your feet in hips distance. Hands to your shins, pull your chest forward, fold and let your head hang down. Rise up to stand, interlace your fingers, push your palms skyward, gazing forward. We'll take a side stretch to the right. Find your breath here. Feel the body breathe. Over to the left. Think of the left side of your body here being as long as the right. Back through center, release your hands, stretch up, reach up, maybe look up, reach through your pinky finger, your thumb, forward fold, let your head hang down. Please walk forward to plank pose, take your time. So we're doing three variations of side plank pose today. The first one will lower the right knee under your hip. Pivot the right foot just off the mat and lift your left arm and left leg. You could always keep your left foot down if you'd like. Maybe stretch your left arm over your ear. You'll decide what's appropriate. Quietly make your way back to plank pose, moving while staying connected. Lower the left knee under your hip, left foot off the mat. Right foot flat or right leg lifted. Lean back, stretch up and maybe over. And take a couple breaths, feel your body breathe. Please make your way to plank pose. Take two breaths here, stay connected, gazing at the front of the mat. On an exhale, always the opportunity to lower your knees as you come to the ground Two more cobra poses, hands by your lower ribs, stretch through your legs.
Push back hips to heels. Use your arms, strong arms. Shift forward, tuck your toes for downward dog. Please walk your hands to your feet. When you get there, lengthen and fold two times. We're just trying to slow down. As you rise up to stand, interlace your fingers again. Push palms skyward. Side stretch right. We'll just change where you were looking. So either see if you could look down to the outside of your right foot or turn your neck to gaze skyward. Through center on an inhale over to the left. Pause to feel and breathe. Back through center, release your hands, maybe push your palms together. Gaze just past your thumbs, stretch up, up, up and anchor down. Forward fold, head heavy at the bottom. Halfway lift, long breath in. Please walk to plank pose. So you'll decide either you'll lower your right knee down like we just did or pivot your heels to the right so that your feet are staggered and lift your left arm up for this variation of side plank pose. Lean back, stretch up and maybe over. Stay connected as you come through plank pose to the other side. The transition is also part of the practice. The whole practice is the practice. Plank pose, take a breath in, lower in control to the earth, a back bend of your choice, and downward dog. Please walk your hands to your feet. Lengthen and fold when you get there. Rise up to stand, stretching up. As you exhale, we'll cactus the arms and lift your chest. Inhale as you reach up, gaze forward and just soften the ribs down. Exhale, cactus and lift your chest. Inhale, reaching up, soften the front ribs down. Once more, exhale, lift, inhale, stretch up, and forward fold. Halfway lift, please walk forward to plank pose. So this time, either pivot your feet to the right and stack your left foot on top, or lower the right knee down, or stagger your feet. Strong in the right arm and shoulder girdle. Stay connected through the center and over to the left side. Feel how strong the left side body is. Keep lifting the left hip up. Really nice. Plank pose, take a breath in and lower half or all the way down for a back bend of your choice. We'll meet in downward dog. Beautiful. Let's put a little bend in your knees and try to lengthen. Stretch your hips up and back. Lift your heels, bend your knees, make your way feet to hands. You could walk or hop. Halfway lift and fold in. Rise with purpose. Palms touch if available. Fold as you exhale. Halfway lift, lengthen, big step back with the left foot, low lunge, lower the left knee, and stretch up. We'll take an open arm twist to the right. Notice where you're looking. Left hand down, right arm up. Think of hugging the right hip towards your left hip. Right hand down, standing splits, back leg up. Blocks are super helpful here if the ground is too far away. And place your left foot next to the right. 
lengthen and fold. Big step back with the right foot, low lunge. Knee down and we stretch up. If it feels better to stretch your arms out, you could do that as well. Nice, really beautiful. Let's take an open arm twist to the left. Your right hand will come to the earth and maybe lift the right knee up. Left hand down, standing splits, right leg up. In a standing split, we're trying to let the head be heavy, which is hard to do. You can certainly bend both knees, but maybe one of your legs is strong and straight. Place the right foot next to the left, lengthen, fold in, rise up, palms touch, be there, and forward fold all the way down. Lengthen forward, step back to plank. Meet me in downward dog. You could add those shapes that get us to downward dog or skip them. You'll decide what's appropriate today. Please lift your right leg long and strong. Shifting forward, think of cat pose. Round your back, hug your knee to your nose. Try to touch your nose to your knee. Good. Three-legged dog. High or low lunge. Right foot forward, either your back knee lifted or your back knee down. We'll take an open arm twist to the right. Adding in a little bit of movement, stretch your left arm forward. And then as though I'm holding your right hand, pull the upper body back. Reach forward, pull back. Reach forward, pull back. Stay here or prayer twist, left elbow over the right knee. And coming back high or low lunge. Standing splits, back leg up. A crisscross forward fold, your left foot will go over behind the right foot. Let your head hang down. And maybe walk your hands a bit to the left. Just see how that feels in your body. Might feel interesting to bend and straighten your knees a bit, just getting into whatever it is that you're feeling. And then back to the front, place your left foot next to the right. Let's find chair pose, Utkatasana. So you could stay here with your knees and feet touching like Lori on the left, or Flip will show, or Flip, Ellie will show us what it feels like and looks like to have your feet a little wider and your arms forward if you have a shoulder injury or it's just challenging to reach your arms up. Really nice. Forward fold, let your head hang down. Halfway lift, step back, hop back. Let's meet in downward dog. Add or subtract anything you'd like. Please lift your left leg, hug your knee to your nose, round your back. Yep. Let your head hang down here and try to touch your, yep, good job. Three-legged dog, high or low lunge. Anjane Asana or Crescent Pose. We'll take an open arm twist to the left. So your gaze is just to the horizon and then we stretch the right arm forward. And the left arm will pull the upper torso back. Good. Two more. And then either staying in an open arm twist or move into a prayer twist. Right elbow over. Your gaze here would be in the direction your chest is opening or maybe turn your neck to look up at the ceiling. Back to high or low lunge. And standing splits, hands down, back leg up. 
your right foot will go behind the left foot, crisscross forward fold. Your feet will probably not be parallel. And if you'd like to walk your hands a bit to the right or to the left, you'll decide just feeling your way into sensation. Coming back to center, place your right foot next to the left, lengthen, fold in chair pose, Utkatasana. And Tadasana, mountain pose, stand nice and tall, let's shake it out a little bit. And when you're ready, chair pose, Utkatasana. Either open arm or prayer twist to the right. Scan your body for tension. Try to soften into the body. Expand your breath through center and to the left. Through center chair pose, as you stand up tall, lift your left knee for crane. So we are coming to warrior two, either stepping back or first standing splits. If you feel like you need a little more stability, come to standing splits and then step the left foot back. Straighten the front leg, palms touch overhead or in front, warrior two. Couple more times, just easing in and out of the front knee, adding in some arm movement as you breathe steadily. Let's pause in warrior two. Keep the front knee bent, reverse warrior. Gentle twist, bring the hands down, your back heel will pivot up and the right arm will stretch up. Nice use of the block there, Ellie. Strong and powerful. Soft and supple. Plank pose, top of a push-up. Lower all the way to the earth. Locust pose, slide your arms alongside your body and lift anything and everything up that you can. Stay here or interlace your fingers at your back, reaching your knuckles towards your heels. Keep everything lifted but lower halfway down and slowly lift up. Lower halfway down and slowly lift up. Notice if your head's doing all the work. Think of the body lowering halfway down and lift. Lower all the way down, turn an ear to the mat and relax through your belly. Maybe a bit of a jiggy jig with your hips, just softening. Lift your head and turn the other ear to the mat. Please meet me in downward dog, take your time. Lift your heels, bend your knees, look where you want to go, walk, step, or hop. Lengthen and fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana. And Tadasana, stand nice and tall. Let's shake it out a little bit. We'll do the other side. When you're ready, chair pose. Open armor, prayer twist to the right. If it's available and feels good for you, stretch your right arm up in the air. Through center on an inhale and to the left, exhale. Inhale to chair, standing up nice and tall, lift your right leg and we'll meet in warrior two. Add some movement. And 
here, maybe you're moving with your breath. One of the movements, an inhale. One of the movements, an exhale. Pause in warrior two. Reverse. Gentle twist, right hand down. Pivot your back heel and your left arm. As your left knee bends forward, think of the left hip hugging towards the right hip. Plank pose and lower all the way down. Stretch your arms forward alongside your ears and when you're ready, lift everything up that you can. So if this is uncomfortable in your body, take your arms wide like an airplane or cactus them. We're going to do that lowering again, halfway down, and then lifting. Mm -hmm. Two more times. Try to do it slowly and really feel the posterior chain, the back of your body working. This is not easy. Nicely done. Lower all the way down. Let's find crocodile pose. Bend your elbows. Rest your forehead on the back of your arms. Bend your knees and gently windshield wiper your feet left and right. We'll meet in downward facing dog pose. You're taking your feet a little bit closer to your hands. Maybe your feet, your heels will touch the ground. Coming into a twist here, your right hand will find the outside of your left knee or all the way down to your ankle. And then we just see if we could twist the spine and look under your left armpit. Place your right hand back at the front of the mat and switch sides. Back to this shortened downward dog. Lift your heels high in the air and see if you could tip, tip, toe to the front of the mat. Halfway lift when you get there and fold in chair pose Utkatasana and Tadasana standing nice and tall. Shake it out a little bit. We'll explore dancer pose, king dancer. So standing on your right leg, bend your left knee and find your left foot with your left hand. As you stand tall, Ellie, if you need to touch a wall or something, that's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. So move a little bit forward, Ellie, just a bit. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so the first thing, we, uh, uh, Lori, come on back there. Yep, so let's get the knees parallel, thigh bones parallel, stand tall. Stretch your right arm up in the air, Lori. Lift it up, up, up. Take your gaze forward just to the horizon and as you start to tip forward, keep your heart lifted. Try to straighten your left leg so you're pushing the left foot into the hand. Keep lifting your heart, lift your heart. There's a big back bend here. Lift, beautiful, and then slowly come on up out of it. Place the left foot on the ground, let's shake it out. All right, let's go on the other side, standing on your left leg. So first thing we do when we balance is find our breath, right? Have a sense of yourself breathing, where you're looking. It's steady and focused. Shift the weight to the left leg. Lift the right foot up and hold the foot with your hand and then try to lower the knees down, even a little bit hugging the right knee towards the left knee. Stand out of your left leg and stretch your left arm way up in the air. Start to tip over, but keep the chest lifted. And then that feeling of straightening the right leg. We're pushing the foot into the hand. One more breath. Lift your heart. And quietly stand up nice and tall. Place the foot on the ground and shake it out. Inhale, reaching up to the sky and fold to the earth. Halfway lift, lengthen. Big step back with your left foot for warrior two. Uh, 
straighten the front leg and as you re-bend the front knee, side angle pose. So Ellie has her forearm to her thigh. Lori's arm is behind her leg on the floor. You could also put a block there if you needed to. And a block has three heights. Take a couple more breaths here. Try to experience being in this shape in this moment. Reverse triangle, lean back, stretch your front leg straight. Triangle pose, right hand anywhere below the knee. Lean back, stretch up, and maybe reach your left arm over your ear. Rise up to warrior two. Press your front leg straight, turn to the left, and we'll just find a forward fold here of your choice. Hands could be on the floor or blocks. Knees could be bent always. And try to let your head hang down. Lifting your chest up, please walk your hands to the front of the mat. And we'll meet back in Downward Dog. Lift your heels as high as you can and tip, tip, toe to the front of the mat. Hips high, hips high, hips high. Really nice. Let your head hang down. Halfway lift and as you fold in right foot, big step back, warrior two. Straighten out your front leg as you re-bend side angle pose, Parjva Konasana. And you'll notice there's always the initial shape and then a developing of being in this shape. And we're, we're trying not to hold the shape and there's a difference between holding the shape and being in the shape. If you're holding the shape, it's rigid. Let's find reverse triangle. And triangle pose. If you're holding the shape, the breath might be um, a bit shallow or choppy. As we explore being, the breath evens out. There's a malleability on the inside of the body. The, tone of the body is soft. The structure is strong, but it's not rigid. Come on back to warrior two. And straighten out the front leg, turn to the right. For prasari to see, interlace your fingers at your back. You could also hold a little towel or strap if you needed to. Release your hands to the ground. Lift your chest. Please walk your hands to the front of the mat. Plank pose and we will meet back in Downward Dog for the last time. Walk your hands to your feet. Padahastasana, your hands will go under your feet. Either just the fingertips or maybe all the way to your wrists. With your knees bent, lengthen your spine. And then use your arms to forward fold. Let your head go. Release your hands. Please walk forward to plank pose. Let's come to your right forearm and your left forearm. Right hand, left hand. Good job. Left forearm and right. Left hand and right hand. Take a breath in and lower all the way down. Stretch your arms forward. 
Bring your forehead down and find a softness, a jiggy jig maybe. So either bow pose, reaching back, finding your feet or ankles. Locust pose, any version that you want, arms alongside the body or out or cactus or sphinx pose. If you are doing bow pose, try to keep your knees about hips distance apart. Lift your heart, open through the chest, take two more breaths, lovely. These look beautiful. And lower down. Bend your knees and windshield wiper your feet left and right. And let's roll on to our backside. When you get to your bed, please hold your knees into your chest and just roll around on your back. We'll cross the right ankle over the left knee. Reach behind your left thigh or the front of your left shin. There's also an active version here where your arms are by your sides and you would just draw the left thigh into your chest. Continue crossing at the knees, Gomukhasana. Your, lay, your hands will find the ankles, flex your ankles, and then we just try to draw the legs apart. And switch sides. Left ankle over the right knee, finding the back of your thigh. If this is challenging, you can always just put your right foot on the ground or put the foot on a block and let the knee tip out. Mm -hmm. That's always, Ellie's demonstrating that. Thanks, Ellie. Because that might be enough for you. And let's continue crossing for Gomukhasana. Or you could stay there if this doesn't feel good. And unravel. Please draw your knees into your chest. Send your left leg long to the floor. And we'll twist to the left. If there's a block nearby, place it under your right knee. And it'll just feel nice. It feels um, supportive. Middle level's a nice height. And your left hand would stay there or not. Yeah, you'll decide whether that feels right. Come on back through center. And we'll just switch sides. And back through center. Please draw your knees into your chest. Happy baby pose. So you could find your feet like Ellie and Lori. Ellie's going to demonstrate just holding the back of your thighs, which is a really nice option, or holding your ankles. And then if available, holding your feet. Draw your knees to your chest. Give yourself a gentle hug. And stretch your legs out long and wide. Arms removed from the body, palms facing up. And if you find that lying on your back is uncomfortable, you could come to your side or your belly or even up to seated. We'll just rest here for a couple of minutes.
We'll very gently begin to deepen your breath. Invite some movement to your fingers and your toes. Roll your wrists and ankles. It might feel nice to stretch your arms up and overhead, point and flex your feet. Draw your knees up towards your chest. You could stay there or roll to your side. And take a couple of breaths wherever you are. Take your time as you come up to seated. You could sit up on a blanket or block or nothing. Legs could be crossed or straight. And bring your hands together by your chest. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be free from harm. May you feel joy. Namaste. Namaste.